right, I made the uh, first end here to my battery cable. Um, this is 12 volt, uh, 12 volt battery, not the uh, battery pack. But um, so I'm using the technique where I'm uh, I'm not crimping, I'm just soldering. So uh, with the torch, filling it all full, and then uh, putting some heat shrink on it. So we'll see how the second one goes. Alright, so I struggled with this one maybe a little bit more than the first one, but there we go. I have started uh, taking off uh, some of the looms and some of the electrical tape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and break it all down, try and get uh, where I think the new connector should go, make it a little prettier. Alright, so I got all the blooms off, all the uh, tape and such, so um, I'm, I've got one or two electrical things I need to troubleshoot um, when the passive keyless entry um, gets in and out of range. The, the horn's not going, so I need to figure that out, and then the other one is that um, when I get in range and the doors unlock, it defaults with the start stop button on. Um, so those are two things I need to figure out. Um, and after that, um, I will try and uh, group these by what makes sense. And I've got some new um, some new connectors. So I got these ones. They cost probably ten times as much. They're already wired and um, they're rated to up to 20 amps. I think the other ones are only up to 10 amps, so this should be good. All right, there's my pile of mess again. Um, figured out the uh, horn as it relates to the passive keyless entry, so I had a diode going the wrong way. So now when I lock it, gives it a little beep. I think I kind of solved one of the last ones before I wanted to tidy all this up with the new connectors. Um, when I was walking up to the car, this would go on. Um, and what I learned is that essentially when I walk up, it sends a signal here, meaning the passive keyless entry sees that it's ready. So it sends a signal here, but nothing really goes further. Well, that's kind of true. So um, enough of a little blip goes back down the other side that it actually comes out the cable and goes into the relay and essentially allows the relay to go on. Um, so anyway, so I think what I'll do is I'll put either like a resistor or a capacitor or something like that in line, and I think that should take care of that little blip. And hopefully that'll be the end of that. So I'll start uh, cleaning up this mess. making some progress on the uh, connectors. So, getting closer. I have it mostly cleaned up. Um, I still need to do all the uh, negatives to the, essentially I'll do another connector here that goes all the negatives and here that goes all the positives. So I need to do two more connectors, but those should be pretty clean and neat. Um, down here, um, 
it'll still be a little just jumbled right at the junction of these box but all the other connectors they look pretty good um, and so that'll be go to the negative battery and the positive one I'll probably put to here I need to switch out that cable but that's where we're to all right so I got um, all the cables and things tied out of the way I think it looks pretty good um, my only concern now is tied everything out of the way it looks good and I've just gone and cut and spliced basically every wire in the car so I'm fully expecting that something's not gonna work and I'm gonna have to get into all this so but um, for now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the car side All right, I got the car side. I think all the plugs are done. Uh, I'll go ahead and get all the wires or all the looms kind of tidied up. Um, yeah, God, having to redo this again with every wire, um, I'm pretty certain that I didn't get them all right. Um, one of these I think I may have inverted, uh, just the pins and stuff. So I'll plug it in and see what needs to change. Okay. Here are all the connectors from the car side. <coughs> so now just got to do uh, two more, one to the each power bank, um, positive, negative, and then uh, we'll plug it in and see what works and what doesn't. Moment of truth. Um, I think most of the time I've given myself about a 50-50. I'm giving this one like 10% chance. Um, but basically got everything all wired up, so all the wires from the car and all the wires from that. So it's all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and start testing systems. Well, that's a good start. Um, so we've got passive keyless entry. This has got power to it and doors seem to lock and unlock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go down my, my list here. So um, we'll go for brakes. All right, we're going to do go, no go for launch. Brakes. Brakes, that's a no go. Sorry, I just remembered. Um, I don't think I have any of my systems on unless I push the start stop button. So let me go do that first. All right, this will be a short uh, test of all my systems if this one doesn't work. Oh, good. Ooh. Okay, now we'll go for brakes. All right, brakes are still a no-go. All right, turn signals. Huh. So, uh, power is going to it, but it looks like somehow we're bypassing the, the blinker relay. Let's check the park lights. Park lights we got. Some test headlights. Headlights we got. Um, interesting, so the back came on, not with the park lights but with the headlights. All right, so that's interesting. When I turn on the brights, I got blinkers. for horn. Oh, 
try windshield wiper. That's intermittent. Good, okay, that's working. Slow, high. Okay, so those are all working. I'm guessing since my flasher relay is not working that this will maybe not do the right thing. So again, it's got the signal but no flasher. Alright, we'll try door locks. One push, locks. And we hold for unlock. That's working. Okay, we'll try the passive keyless entry now, see if it... Sub locks. We come up here. Unlocks. So I noticed we still have the same problem there. We'll have to uh, fix that. I did get some capacitors. I think I know what to do, but we'll try it out. All right, so here's where we stand. It's no go for the brakes. Um, I'll look into that. Turn signals, so they activate, but there's no blinker relay, and it doesn't go to the rear. Headlights are good. Brights turn on the blinkers, so that's not good. Horn's good. Um, park brake, I just need the signal from the Tesla unit, so not yet. Reverse lights, again, need the signal from the Tesla unit, so not yet. I could try that, though, just to make sure that they're wired okay. Park lights, that's a no. Windshield wiper's good. Flasher again, or for hazards. Uh, they work, but no flasher. So the auxiliary's good, pass key is entry's good, door locks are good. Uh, the coolant fans and pump, I'm not gonna try until I get fluid in there. So we will start troubleshooting. All right, I figure I'll clue you guys in on uh, some of my troubleshooting. So um, basically what I've got is, I've just got a, positive here and I'm going to go essentially start on the uh, output side. So I'm going to make sure like brake lights and other things work, reverse lights and kind of, so if those don't work it means something's wrong up to here. If they do work it means something's wrong on this side. So, um, so brake. This should be brake light. Get brake lights. Let's get them all. Yep. Brake lights are good. That should be blinker. Right blinker, this should be left blinker. Park lights, your reverse lights. Um, I don't know what this one is. That one's, I think, going to the. That might be where my problem is. Oh, so those are going to the switches. So the brake switch. Okay, so that's what I'll do next, is I'll just um, jumper them using the switches, so I'll see if... Okay, so we'll try that next. All right, I've got my uh, brake switch closed, so then I'm gonna go ahead and um, jumper my brake switch and see if, if that works. All right, so that doesn't work, so... Um, Got, got wrong wires going somewhere. And continuity check, I'm trying to find which, which wire or which circuit is the brake. The brake root uh, switch over there. Okay, so that one is the one that's getting power. So I'll go find, uh, see the other one, see where it's coming back to. Okay. So it looks like we're one pin off. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, 
rewire that and see what else that fixes. All right, so what I did on this guy is uh, I did one through six right, but then I went seven through 12 instead of seven through 12. So I got the bottom half backwards. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch those around and see if things work. All right, so this is attempt two. So on my green connector, I had one row that was reversed. On my red connector, I had both rows reversed. So I'm going to go ahead and do a go, no go for launch with all my systems. Okay, we're gonna start with brakes. Next is turn signals. Damn it. All right, the left one's working. All right, we'll try the headlights. Well, I guess first we'll do park lights. That looks good. Good up front. Headlights. Headlights are also good. Brights. Brights are good. to see the horn. If the horn does like the right blinker or something. So here you go. Horn and right blinker are switched. All right, we'll go for uh, hazard lights. That's also mixed with the horn. All right, we're gonna try again. Go no go for launch. All right, here we go for brakes. Brakes go. Turn signals. Good. We'll try the other side. Back look good. Front look good. Headlights. Well, first we'll do park lights. Park lights good. Brights. Brights are good. Horn. We'll do windshield wiper. Do the uh, passive keyless entry. Okay. So 
that works. Again, one push for lock. And hold down for unlock. So that's all working. Auxiliary is working. All right, that does it. Um, we were able to successfully switch connectors, which uh, I wouldn't recommend. It's a lot of time and you guys are probably better than I am, but um, messed up a couple times, but got it all back together. Um, good news, next week, uh, the suspension for the Tesla is coming. So I should be able to start on that. Um, I'll probably drop focus on a lot of the electrical stuff so I can get the, essentially that, uh, the suspension in and get the uh, rear essentially all situated and, and get it all sorted out so um, we can put wheels on it and tires and get it dropped on the ground. That'll be a big milestone. So hope you enjoy this episode. Um, please consider subscribing and thank you.